Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Monday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early, man. It's 3 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. No, this is not an old video. No, this is not old news. It happened again. Yep, with Donald Trump, a second attempt on him. Before I get into that, I really need to talk about this. What Donald Trump had, I, it really it really appears to me that he is uh, destructing right now. I'm going to talk about everything, what he said about Taylor Swift, what Elon Musk is saying about all this. Uh, but it really self, it seems like he's self-destructing at a rally before this second attempt on him. He said that he would send the illegal immigrants from Springfield, Ohio, back to Venezuela. Okay, just for those of you that don't didn't catch that, he, he's getting his, uh, his illegal immigrants mixed up. Supposed, supposedly, it was Haitians. In well, I mean, there there are Haitians, of course, in Springfield, Ohio, but they they are not doing what he claims they're doing, eating dogs and cats and ducks and whatever. <laughs> um, I want to talk about this really briefly. Uh, I've seen posts, I've seen articles from actual people, the police chief, uh, the parks guy, the the uh, parks guy from Springfield, Ohio, but actual people that live in Ohio, their house it shows their houses like on Facebook. And what he's done to this community, this stuff is all untrue. There's stuff, there's been these uh, false alarms at the schools, the Proud Boys actually marching down the streets with weapons armed in Springfield, Ohio. And I've seen these, these videos. I'll see if I could link, let's put some links down below. I have a hard time putting links from Facebook there. Uh, actually crying about what's happening to their town, uh, how Donald Trump, you know, and this, this just, this just, it shows me, and still they keep, it, it, J.D. Vance and Donald Trump keep perpetrating this false story. No matter what, these guys come up, it's constantly, now. it's almost every day now, a new conspiracy theory, and no matter how much evidence is right in their face from the people that are actually involved in this, they never, they, they refuse because they, they know because they know. That's the quote I had from the other day. And they never, they ne you know, despite all the evidence right in front of them, like with the, the uh, Obama birth certificate thing or winning the 2020 election. I mean, there's just mountains of evidence to the contrary. And they, you know, they refuse to believe it. Same thing with Aurora, Colorado now, but Trump got them mixed up. The Venezuelans and his Haitians and his Venezuelans, he got mixed up, you know. And now J.D. Vance and Donald Trump are still pushing this false narrative. And the thing that amazes me is you look at the people, the actual people, the, the American citizens living in Springfield, Ohio, suffering because of this political rhetoric that he's trying to sell his supporters to get them all fired up to get votes. So who is that about? Is that about American citizens? Is that about making America great again? By, by destroying this community? By, by having armed gangs roaming around in this community? What's going on in the schools? I can't even say the, the, the false alarms at the schools. You know, and he has no consideration for these people. So is that about him? Is that about him getting power again? Is that about him gaining supporters or, or filling his supporters' heads? Or is that about the American citizens? It's obvious. It's freaking obvious. And they don't even see this. And, they, and he, despite all the evidence to the contrary, this is what's, it, it's so irrational. That's what terrifies me about these people and about Donald Trump, this cult of personality. Okay, now, what happened at Trump International Golf Course, 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon? Ryan Wesley Routh from North Car of North Carolina and apparently Hawaii, 58 years old, uh, with an AK-47 with a scope on it and a GoPro camera. Apparently, he got some shots off three to 500 yards away from Trump, which is not far at all. You know, I've been, I told you guys, I grew up shooting with my father. My father owned a, he was a, a game warden and he owned a whole gun collection. He had me shooting at five, six years old. And I've shot all sorts of guns and three to 500 yards is not far, especially with a scope. Uh, they chased him down. They fired the Secret Service Apparently, he got some shots off. Trump uh, said that he heard shots. And they chased him down on 95. They caught him. And that's that. Okay, now what people are saying. Well, first of all, Donald Trump says that he will never surrender. You know, trying to find another uh, catchphrase 
you know, fight, 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 never surrender, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Here's the th interesting thing. Marjorie Taylor Greene, the links for this will be right down below. She said that she is so sure that this is, you know, two times it's a conspiracy. Oh, this is, this is her reason because the GoPro camera, she thinks that there's, there's a, a deep state or the swamp, deep sweat, deep, deep state, all that stuff behind this. There's a conspiracy because of the GoPro camera. You know, who is we recording this for? Really? You know, this is, like I said, you know, I don't know why this, I just don't understand. I don't even understand how these people think. You know, if they, why they are so sure that there's something hidden behind every story, behind every, behind every corner, this conspiracy theory mindset. Uh, you know, why, why, my first thing, why would he have a GoPro camera? To record himself for posterity because he thought he's insane and he thought he was doing a great thing and he wanted it recorded and it'd be all over the news and he'd be famous. You know, he wanted it recorded. What he's doing, the, the, the god awful, terrible thing, even though I can't stand Donald Trump, it's a god awful, terrible thing and it's not good for the country. No matter how bad Donald Trump is for the country, you know, I, I do not. You know, I, I find no joy in any of this. I find no happiness in any of this. These attempts on him. Okay. Elon Musk. What Elon Musk said on X, on Twitter. Elon Musk, Donald Trump, they're, they're, they're trending on Twitter, of course, right now. Elon Musk, deport, hashtag deport Elon Musk is trending right now. I'll put the link down below. On Twitter. And because people are outraged at what Elon Musk said. He said, and I quote, and no one is even trying to assassinate uh, the current president and vice president. I have to be careful. I, I probably shouldn't even said that much. Their names, Biden and Harris. That's what he actually said. And, you know, that's that's inciting violence. He's the, he's the freaking owner of the of Twitter, of X. You know, and his policy is not to incite violence. And what is that? What, what is that? You know, a, so deport Elon Musk is trending right now on Twitter. Let me get into this now. Before this all happened, Donald Trump tweeted. And I knew this was, I knew this was coming, man. I talked about this in other videos. Donald Trump, all caps, I hate Taylor Swift. And there's a huge fallout, of course, about this. Everybody's saying, what a small little man. You know, when somebody comes on here and puts me down or whatever, criticizes me, I don't hate them. You know, like I said before, I, I almost feel sorry for them. A lot of times people, I, I, I've actually had, the people that hate me most tend to watch me every single day and comment. I've, I've actually had, I've had to block two people in the history of this channel, like five years. And the weird thing was they watched every video, every minute of every video, which I love because I'm making money from that, you know, you know, and the time it takes them to comment, the video is still on. I'm still making money. Every time you comment, the video is still running and I'm still making money. You know, maybe it's pennies, but you know, you add that up, you know, a thousand, six thousand, hours per month that's a lot of you know it, it, it pays off you know and and to say that she, that he hates he hates her just because her political choice you know a bigger man would say you know it's it's america you could choose who you you could pick who you want because before this he said that she's very attractive and he hears that she's very talented you know so he was kind of on the fence he was kind of waiting to see what she said about how I just I, I can't wrap my mind around how juvenile and what a literally what a well not literally but what a small insecure man this guy is how how juvenile this is just because somebody's not going to vote for you she didn't even say anything about Donald Trump himself she just said she's going to endorse Kamala Harris and she gave her reasons why you know and now Donald Trump hates her and that's it's such a strong word i'm very careful how i use the word hate because hate you know if you google this i'm sure it'll say this too hate is basically fear you know when you hate something it's 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 a fear-based thing you know you're scared of something you don't understand it you think it's going to you you fear how it's going to affect your life it's fear is is what you know like with, with prejudice 
you know, that's what it is with, with any kind of prejudice. It's, it's not, it's, it's, it, fear is at the root of it. So I'm very careful how I use the word hate because I think it says a lot more about the person saying it. You're basically saying, I'm terrified of this. I'm terrified of that. When you say, I hate this or I hate that. So what he, what Donald Trump is really saying here is he's terrified of Taylor Swift, which kind of makes sense because, you know, he, he's probably going to lose the, the election. You know, this stuff now, especially just this, you know, he has made enemies of the Taylor Swift nation, which is what, 600 million people or something like that, something ridiculous, you know, and uh, the cats and dogs thing and uh, how he did in the, in the, uh, the debate and then denying that he did. Yeah, it's just, I, I just see him self-destructing. I just see him, you know, swirling around the drain, you know, and now a second attempt on him. I don't know for his supporters, that'll probably boost it. You know, the supporters love him no matter what, no matter what insane things he does or says or happens to him. So it's not going to affect him. The links will be down below. I did, I mean, this is going to be my next video. I did a song. I was having a really good day Friday, a really great day, and I'll talk about that. And I went on TikTok, and I had watched an episode of Happy Days, and there was an old 50s song on Happy Days, and it got stuck in the oh, song, gets stuck in your head. So I made a video of me singing the song, and I want to talk about the comments, because uh, I got 2,000 views in like 10 hours on TikTok, because I was singing, Splish Splash, I'm a taking a bath, all about a Saturday night. And I, I sing terribly. That's the thing I do worse in this world. I want to talk about the comments I got on that video. All right. So that's next coming up. Have a good Monday.